is Jan, the local explorer. In this very short video, I take a look at Vordingborg Castle in the town of Vordingborg on southern part of the island of Sjælland. The castle was founded by Valdemar the first, known as Valdemar the Great in 1160 and expanded uh, by Valdemar the fourth in 1360. But today only a few ruins are left. In the background you may be able to see I'm not sure because the zoom in this GoPro is not that great, but you may be able to see a bridge. That is the Faro Faro bridge from Sealand to the island of Falster. Go down to see a bit of the old walls down here. The old castle walls. As you can see, it was a rather large fortress. If I turn around, you can see more walls and I will stop the video here and get back to you in a while. There's not much to see until I get to the next part of the castle. Originally the castle had four corner towers, but only one is left, the one in the picture right now. It is known as Gorsetårnet, the Goose Tower, uh, because the weather vane on top of the tower, oh by the way, see the birds there, well anyway, the weather vane is a golden goose, so it's known as the Goose Tower. There's a legend uh, about the goose, but I don't remember it uh, by heart, so maybe I could put the legend in the in the uh, description when I edit this video. There's a lot of birds around the tower. I don't know why, but there must be a reason for that. Maybe there's some kind of food up there. This is the only conserved castle tower in the all of Denmark. And it's 26 meters high and on top of that, the spire is 10 meters. So to the goose on top, it's about 36 meters or 110 feet or so. As you can see, there are some projectors here, meaning, meaning that uh, in the evening, the tower is lit up. Uh, unfortunately, it's closed, as you can see, so I can't get inside, but you can, when it's open, get inside and walk the stairs to the top of the tower, which is, when you look at it, even only 26 meters, looks quite high. As you can see, there is a moat around the castle, or rather the remains of a moat, but not all of it, of course. In the distance you can see that the moat ended in a bay, uh, so it was protected by water on all sides. Well, as it's cold, it's windy and it's rainy, I will end this video here. I have been Jan, the local explorer. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch more videos from me, click the subscribe button and press the bell in order to get alerted whenever I upload new videos and give me a thumbs up if you like the video.